What is up everyone? The club opens its doors again. This time, save the world, Fortnite. So there are a few videos on YouTube, on the Fortnite community, um, that have spoken about the possibility of Fortnite Save the World going free to play later this year. I personally didn't do the research. Um, I didn't research this information myself as I watched Latana split screen both upload a video. They mentioned the source of the rumor after I watched Demon Joe France and I listened to their opinions in regards to Fortnite Save the World going free to play. So the first thing that comes to mind in a lot of people's minds are the cons the incomplete quest lines, the issues the game currently has, the duplication glitch, you know, the trading system, it's just, you know, the trading issue, you know, the scammer gets scam issue, going around, save the world. So then, I decided to take a step back, change that mentality of being a power level 91 player that has been playing since late December of 2017, take that out of my mindset and I tried to focus about the mentality of what I saw when I first started playing Fortnite Save the World a few months back. Again, I used to play Battle Royale 24-7. I put hours upon hours and this is what I remember. So I remember being overwhelmed by how different Save the World was from Battle Royale. The durability on weapons. My AR breaking after shooting it, you know, for so long. Figuring out how to obtain a blue assault rifle or a SCAR, Siege Breaker, uh, either or, because those are the best guns, or they were the best guns back in December 2017 on the Battle Royale. I was I know my friends mentioned oh well you have to get the materials to craft them I had no idea what materials how do I find out what materials I need you know I need to get these materials to start crafting these guns I remember asking you know how do I get nuts and bolts how do I get these mechanical parts um, you know I need to get this assault rifle honestly uh, good times yep good times trying to figure out what to break and where to find these materials. Before, we only had one sapper and wall spikes on Battle Royale. And I remember jumping onto, again, Save the World and just seeing all the different types of traps. That was something else. I remember being very confused when it came to Survivor Squads, the heroes, and the skill trees, you know, what everything meant, what I needed to do. I remember trying to change my pickaxe because, again, I, went, I had that mentality of being a Battle Royale player. So, to me, I feel like the game currently has enough content to not only keep new players busy for one to two months while they're playing in Stonewood, Plankerton, and Region Candy Valley, but also to get them addicted to Save the World. I personally fell in love with Save the World. And I put hundreds of hours, hundreds of dollars into this game. Um, just because I enjoy it. I enjoy playing it. I'm enjoying creating content that is about Save the World. On a business perspective, I feel like this year would be the best choice to make Save the World free. As... Honestly, in my opinion, Battle Royale might be at its peak of its popularity in 2018. Again, we don't know what the future holds for Battle Royale 2019. If Epic was to launch Save the World for free, then the amount of players speaking about it on Twitter, on YouTube, would be on, on Reddit, on Facebook, where, you know, whatever the website would be significantly higher. More players would be down to actually take a break from Battle Royale after getting annoyed, getting the bullshit, you know, I'm going to take a break. And to see Save the World as an option, you know, versus having that price tag, 
very big difference because I remember when I was playing again this was me and I saw save the world I always wondered what it was but I never really wanted to spend the money on save the world we are talking business perspective for epic guys if they decide to launch save the world free to play not only will majority of the V-Bucks being used right now would go for the skins on Battle Royale, but mostly you start putting that down in people's heads on how they're gonna spend their V-Bucks, whether it's gonna be buying skins or buying llamas in order to, you know, obtain certain schematics, certain heroes, certain survivors to level up. Now you are buying llamas you are putting money in to save the world you're putting money into battle royale and it gives people the option to either play save the world or battle royale there's a lot of people that play save the world that don't even want to jump and play battle royale um i know there's more people on battle royale that have never touched save the world but it could be a positive it could be a positive Again, I've heard all the cons and I am aware of the issues that we are currently experiencing on Save the World, but I wanted to take a step back and remember what it was to play Save the World for the first time and my personal experience, what I experienced, what it was for me. What do you guys think should happen? Should Epic launch Save the World free to play this year? Or should they wait for 2019 when, you know, when they release the next canny quest line, when they add and they fix more bugs on this game? This was my opinion, guys. I will be seeing you guys around. If you guys enjoy the video and want to see more Save the World, hit that subscribe button. Give the video a thumbs up. I will see you guys later.